Hi, I'm Kelly, and welcome to today's unboxing of the latest version of French ephemera bundle boxes that I sell here in my book and art studio. Each box is different, but each box is filled with original, authentic, handwritten pieces, photos, ads, fashion, lace, treats, and goodies that you can use in your journal arts, your mixed media, junk journals, or what you will. I sell these throughout the year, but they do vary from time to time depending on what new old stuff I have acquired recently, what I have found or has found me. So please join me. This is the latest version of the boxes. And even if you don't think you want a box, join me anyway and enjoy the vintage eye candy. Let's go look at stuff. In each box, you will have a vintage key. I wish I could say it opens the box, but it's just cardboard. Inside, we start with a batch of rolled papers. Flat might be better, but if they were flat, the postage would be stratospheric. So if you do get your rolled papers, you can just reverse roll them, put them under something flat, or just let them be. This is an old canceled receipt, 1880. Again, each one will be different, but similar. Uh, this is some Welsh paper. It's from the 1850s, Welsh text. This is a stock certificate, and this would make a nice background, and then you have all of these little tickets for embellishing pages or uh, tags or whatnot. There's quite a bit of handwritten paper. This one's from 1890. See, this one is from 1822. They will all be different, but they will all be on this laid paper and handwritten. This one, I think, is 1810. If I do find the dates and they're not obvious, then I usually put them up here in the corner, handwrite them, and you can see, but a lot of them have the, um, the date extant. See, here's some old fashioned from a magazine called Femina. Some ads. Cute shoes there. I used to have those shoes. And you have a copy of La Mode Illustre. It's a fashion magazine from 1882. Oh, there's different ones. I have some from the 1870s and some from the... 1870s. Did I just say that? 1870s and 1880s. And here we have two prints of flowers by the French uh, botanical artist Ray Dote. Uh, these are reproductions, but you could use them in your work or you could even frame them. With the oversized rolled papers, you will also have three sheets of British wildflowers. And I use these all the time for borders and embellishments and backgrounds. And also a copy of the girl's own paper. This is uh, was a magazine, an English magazine. Uh, this one's from 1890, but I also have some from the 1880s. And they have stories and illustrations. Aldith's inheritance. Mrs. Stanton grew cold and faint. She's got nothing on me. Inside the box, there are different lengths of French, vintage French lace. And a lot of this is handmade. And again, you could use this in junk journals or if you want to do some slow stitching in here. 
or uh, make it into a wrap for one of your art journals. That's what I'd use mine for. Let's see. Here are three carte de visite. These are small old photographs from around the 1880s. These vintage French playing cards, um, they're not vintage, they're reproduction, but they are very cool and make great tags and they're fun. In this bag, I have a selection of vintage French holy cards. And again, these are all different. Some are like lithographs, some are from the 1930s. Uh, this one's a teeny tiny booklet, so you could make the smallest um, little book there in the world, little sketchbook or journal. And then this one has a sort of a stained glass effect on this uh, acetate. So you could do a lot of fun things with that as well. And also really good if you do Bible journaling. Here is a selection of postcards with handwriting on the back and some adorable images on the front. And then this is just um, a business card. In this packet is a selection of just vintage text. Uh, again, I've got some Welsh pieces in here. This is Welsh. They mainly come in signatures so that you can spread them across a layout. And these are from, most of these are from the 1800s, and there are a few pieces from the 1700s. This slightly distressed box contains some ribbon, an ciel pour marquer le linge, which just means that they were ribbon that had initials on it for your laundry and they will look something like this so you're gonna have a lot of ribbon there and I know you can think of something to do with that a card of buttons these are uh, milk glass and they have this pretty uh, Art Nouveau kind of card and then there are a variety of bibs and bobs. There will be some cabinet cards. And uh, in a slightly bigger cabinet card as well. A variety of handwritten receipts. This one's from 1919. I love to use these as backgrounds in my altered books and collage. There's some new old stock. You could uh, do a lot with that. Uh, this is actually uh, clearly not French, but it's hand-stamped uh, Japanese paper, rice paper from the 1920s. When you glue it down, it goes translucent. Great background. Some more receipts. Here's a handwritten single page from 1843. These are reproductions, but they're butterflies. And then just a variety of handwritten pieces. 
This text is from 1766. This is from 1789. So it's got this uh, almost like a, you can feel the, the raised text that was done on a letterpress. And this is a, another Welsh piece, 1843, French Dictionary, 1826, a couple of ads. And finally, some more handwritten single sheets. I almost forgot. I also came across a stash of these. They're more ticket things. Uh, this one's from Paris, 1925, from an ex international exposition of decorative arts and stuff. And over here are some more little tickets including some reductions to get you into the theater, the cinema, and the music hall. Yes, please. Each box also has a vintage tin, a vintage French tin, and a French rosary. If you would like a box that's somewhat customized, let's say you would like uh, less fashion and more botanicals, or maybe you'd like some birds and foot butterflies, uh, more lace, less buttons, I don't know. You tell me. If I can, I will. To find out more information about these boxes, including a, a written list of what's inside of them and how to order one, Follow the link that is below this video in the text box or drop me a line. If a box is not in your future, I also have printable scanned versions of a lot of the pieces that are in here. Some are free and on my website and some are for sale and they're on Etsy. I've got links to both of those also in the uh, box below this video. Please join me in a few days. I'm going to have a bag drop showing what's in my portable art kit that I'm taking hiking later this week. Until then, get up and go make something. Bye.